Hey y'all, this is Jim, about to do my first cigar review. Um, so as an initial, initial um, review, I thought maybe I would introduce myself a little bit. Uh, coming in here to you from Austin, Texas, um, where it's the end of September and still hotter than it is in, in August in uh, the north where I'm from. Anyway, um, I, uh, I want to do a cigar review for the rest of us. Um, I, am, I am not a connoisseur, I am not an aficionado. Uh, I am very basic in my enjoyment of cigars, and so I want to do reviews for people who enjoy cigars um, but are not particularly f uh, sophisticated, even enough to the point of being able to detect um, crushed black pepper on the retro hail. Okay. Um, I have no idea what that means. So, um, I want to review cigars, uh, without taking away from those reviewers who, uh, who do those things because they do a great job at them. I think of Brian at, uh, Cigar Obsession, uh, who it, I'm a big fan of Brian's. I uh, love his reviews. Uh, what a great uh, YouTube program he has and uh, really really enjoy his reviews uh, so nothing not taken away from that level of sophistication maybe I'll get there someday I don't know but I always check his reviews first before I try a new cigar um, so uh, check him out he is uh, phenomenal at what he does so this is going to be a test run We'll see how it goes. I'm going to just basically record me smoking cigars uh, as I do so and share with you my thoughts, which are going to be very rudimentary. Um, they're going to be very basic. Lastly, one last thing about myself before we get to tonight's cigar. Um, I am a, I'm a pastor um, here in the Austin area, and uh, we uh, at our church believe in uh, a number of things that are uh, wonderful. Uh, we believe the Bible is the Word of God, the only authority for what we are to believe concerning God and what He would have us do. And uh, we believe in uh, preaching the whole counsel of God, the whole Bible. Um, and uh, we are a Presbyterian church, so we find our roots historically going back to the Reformation and before the Reformation to the great uh, theologians of the past, like Augustine and such. So um, uh, that's what we're all about. We also believe in Christian liberty. Um, we believe that Christians are at liberty to enjoy themselves with the things that God has made. Um, and uh, there is, of course, sinful use of the things that God has made. Uh, we, we want to avoid those. Uh, we don't want to sin against God. But at the same time, uh, we can enjoy things like tobacco and alcohol and such as long as we uh, don't do it to such an extent where we are uh, abusing it and uh, using it immoderately. So anyway, um, that's a little bit about me. Um, hope you enjoy this review and uh, speaking of which, here I am working with the uh, CAO, I believe they call this the uh, Country Cocktail. It has uh, several uh, tobaccos in it. It's a blend. So I guess it wouldn't be a Puro. I don't know all of my terms, but uh, I think that's right. Um, Ecuador and Honduras and Nicaragua. So uh, those are the uh, those are the tobaccos that are here um, in this particular cigar. As you can see, I started already, already um, into it, and. So far, I am uh, very much enjoying it. A lot of, a lot of rich flavors. It's, it's not weak. I do not even know yet how to rate these things in terms of medium to mild to strong and, and strength and body and all that. But I would guess that this is probably on the stronger side of the body. Um, so, <clears throat> um, in terms of. Uh, my experience, uh, I do not um, pick up any particular notes like like pepper or coffee or chocolate or anything like that. Um, not Again, not making fun of those reviewers who talk that way. Uh, they know what they're talking about. Mm. 
but uh, um, this is much stronger than what I usually go for. I got it in a sampler, I think from Cigar International, might have gotten it from Halts, I don't remember, but uh, anyway, a really, really good, um, strong flavor, strong tobacco, uh, a lot stronger than what I'm, I'm used to. So um, this is not for the faint of heart. I am particularly drawn towards more mild, medium cigars. Um, you know, I love Connecticut wrapper uh, type cigars that are sort of mild and smooth and creamy. And, um, but this is not that. Um, this is this is kind of a funny, uh, strange uh, tobacco to or cigar for me to um, to start with because it's not my typical cigar. Not really I'm drawn to this, but anyway. I am not going to yet um, smoke the whole cigar in this first review because I do not yet even know how to edit the video. Uh, that's how much of an amateur I am. Um, so, but that's okay. If you're an amateur too, hopefully you'll you'll enjoy this. Um, <clears throat> I can say a couple of things about this. I, I do enjoy trying to pair. Um, I don't know the rules of pairing. I just know what seems to jive well. Um, so I just had a piece of chocolate, 70% um, chocolate. It was okay. Paired okay with that. Um, not the best pair. Not the best pairing. Um, but I will tell you what um, what I I am enjoying in terms of pairing. So I'm having a, trying a Texas bourbon. say, um, I wouldn't know what the experts say in Aficionado magazine or something like that, but um, um, that tastes good. It seems to bring out accent, uh, sort of the flavors of the cigar uh, when I drink the bourbon and then uh, take, a, take a drag of the cigar. So, um, again, very good, uh, very, very enjoyable. Um, I, I want to commend it. I don't think it's a bad cigar. I think these things normally go for about seven, eight bucks or so. Retail, um, <clears throat> I was able to get it cheaper, of course, in the sampler. And uh, before I let you go, let me, let me just say uh, a thing or two about uh, ordering uh, samplers and ordering particularly online versus uh, uh, brick and mortar shops and I know this is controversial so maybe you'll leave a um, leave a couple of uh, comments I'm sure in the comment section below but uh, a couple these are my thoughts just my opinion um, and uh, please don't um, get angry at me for my opinion but uh, so uh, I believe in brick and mortar I believe that they ought to mark up their cigars. They are um, generally, at least around here, much more expensive than to get them online. Uh, that's right, proper. The the analogy I draw um, with that is 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 a bar. Um, I could buy a six pack of beer for anywhere between a buck fifty to two dollars per bottle. If I were to go to a bar, typically I would pay six bucks for um, for a bottle or for a draft or whatever. Um, so I don't go out every time I want to smoke, uh, drink a beer to a bar. I have beer at home. Uh, that's my go-to. That's my typical. Uh, it's on occasion when I meet up with friends or whatever, I'll go out to a bar, and if I'm out socially hanging out with friends, I don't mind paying six bucks or more, whatever, for a beer. Um, I have a stash of cigars at home that I pay between three and five bucks uh, for uh, online. And those are my sort of everyday cigars uh, because
because I can't afford, <laughs> as a pastor, uh, to smoke cigars at 10 bucks a pop. Uh, so, um, on occasion, I will go out to uh, cigar lounges and, and meet up with friends and smoke cigars there, and I will not bring my own. I think that's really, I mean, that would be like bringing a six pack into a bar. And you don't do that. Um, but when I go to a brick and mortar um, cigar shop, I go with friends and I buy their cigars, and it's a occasional thing, and gladly pay the extra for having the um, uh, the experience, having the comfort of the lounge, et cetera, and everything that goes into it by the owners. So, anyway, that's sort of my my take on it. Um, you know, leave your comments below. Uh, happy to receive your criticisms and thoughts. Uh, hope hope that's uh, sort of gentlemanly. Uh, I I again, I'm not sophisticated. Not a sophisticated cigar smoker, but um, I do believe in um, in being a, a gentleman cigar smoker, and and I think that um, I try to reflect that in my opinion. So anyway, hope hope uh, this review uh, was good, was helpful. Again, I'm not going to get into a whole lot of details about the sophistication of the cigar, you know, changes and transitions, and all that. I just tell you what what I experience, what I taste, what I enjoy, and. Um, hope that the review is helpful and entertaining as well to you. So um, stay tuned and hopefully uh, future reviews will be interesting. Um, and remember that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. John chapter 114. Um, that is of course the Lord Jesus Christ who is the eternal God in human flesh come to the world to save sinners such as myself. God bless. Have a good night.